What's up, Daily Dosers? My name's Cameron. I'm one of the Life Group pastors on our San Marcos Escondido campus. And in this series on the power of 12, we're looking at a few different reasons as to why Jesus was empowered by surrounding himself with community. You see, being the son of God and having all of heaven's authority here on earth, Jesus didn't technically need people, but he chose us to partner with him to share the mission of spreading the gospel and the good news. And um, Jesus also knew that there was great strength and Numbers. And in Mark chapter 6, verse 7, Jesus models this with his disciples. After being rejected in his own hometown, he's going from village to village and he's teaching. And in verse 7, he says, Calling the twelve to him, he began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over impure spirits. We also see Jesus do something similar in Luke chapter 10, where he gathers 72 disciples and he begins to send them out two by two to the towns and places where he was eventually going to go. So with our time today, I want to focus specifically on this idea of Jesus sending out disciples two by two. In Mark, we see that Jesus gives his disciples authority over impure spirits and the ability to heal sick people. So wouldn't it have made more sense for Jesus to send the disciples out individually to be able to reach even more people and go to more places? Um, a few years ago, there was a viral video from BBC Earth. They have this awesome documentary called Dynasties. And in this one in particular, they're following a young male lion who leaves his pride and he's exploring the outer territories of his land. Um, and as the video is following him, all of a sudden you start to hear this really creepy laughing sound. And that sound increases and gets louder and louder. And all of a sudden you realize that there's a pack of 20 hyenas that are circling this lion. And they're excited because they know that that they can take this lion down because he's all alone. And so one will distract him while a few come behind him to try to take bites out of him. And their main goal is to circle this lion and just get him tired. And despite his best effort being a powerful lion to fight them off, he's no match for this pack of hyenas. And so as a viewer, you're watching thinking there's no way he's gonna get out of this situation on his own. And just when you think it's too late, the camera angle changes and you see another male lion come to the rescue. And one of the BBC narrators says, even for 20 hyenas, a pair of male lions is too much to take on. And so they work together and they scare off the hyenas. And then there's this really interesting embrace between the two of them as they nuzzle up against each other as a mutual sign of appreciation to say, thank you for having my back. You see, as powerful as this lion was, he was no match for that pack of hyenas on his own. In Luke chapter 10, verse 3, as Jesus is preparing to send out the larger group of disciples two by two, he says, Go, I am sending you out like lambs among wolves. So could the disciples have reached more people and gone to more places if they went out individually? Probably. But I think Jesus knew exactly what he was doing here. You see, sending the disciples out two by two, he knew that it would provide mutual encouragement. He knew that it would be a sharing of the workload, that there would be true companionship and a sense of security and even accountability. There was strength in numbers. And you see the same application um, is for us today. Even though we have the spirit of the Lion of Judah living inside of us, we were not meant to face the hyenas of this world alone. In Proverbs 17, 17, it says, A friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for adversity. In Galatians 6, 2, it says, Carry each other's burdens, for in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. So we encourage you, Daily Dosers, do you have community? Do you have someone who can partner with you to do the good work of the kingdom? Someone who can pray with you, encourage you, and even hold you accountable to ensure that your actions are in alignment with the testimony and the nature of Jesus. So the next time you find yourself in a situation where you feel like the world is surrounding you with hyenas, you won't find yourself alone, but instead you'll find strength in numbers. Hope you found some encouragement in this, Daily Dosers. Take care, and we'll see you next time.